Hi, I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we'll be showing you how to create a Tenzig Manager package that will deploy and install the VLC Media Player to our Tenzig Windows IoT device from within a FlexApp One application container. A FlexApp One container is a self-contained shareable file that contains a Windows application and allows it to run without the need for an additional application player on Windows sessions. FlexApp One is a feature of Liquidware FlexApp that uses containerization technology to simplify application deployment and management. Deploying containerized applications can be accomplished through various methods, including direct installation from a USB key or utilizing remote deployment options like Microsoft Intune or Tanzig Manager. We'll be showing you how to do this remotely step by step using Tanzig Manager's Package Manager from within the Tanzig Manager web console. First, we'll create a Tenzig Manager package to deploy and install the FlexApp One container service and also set up the VLC Media Player. Then, to finish off the demo, we'll create another Tenzig Manager update package that removes the VLC Media Player installation and then removes the FlexApp One service, leaving the endpoint in the exact same state it was in before we started our deployments. During the demo, I'll make reference to the Tenzig Windows IoT device and also the Tenzig Manager server, which is where my image store and Tenzig Manager update package files will reside. We will also be including some batch command scripts that will run as part of the Tenzig Manager update packages, and we'll refer to the location of these as coming from the dev repository on my own PC, just to distinguish between that and the Tenzig Manager image store. Before we continue, Please just take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the Tenzig YouTube channel. Your support enables us to reach a wider audience and continue providing valuable information to the tech community. In this section, we'll show you how to build the first of the Tenzig Manager update packages that will deploy a FlexApp One application container to the Tenzig Windows IoT device, and then install the FlexApp One service and set up the VLC Media Player. For this first Tenzig update package, we're going to deploy two files to the Tenzig device. One is the actual FlexApp One application container itself, and the other is going to be the controlling .bat file that will handle various operations during the Tenzig Manager update package execution. So let's take a look inside the file dev repository on my PC and open up the folder that contains the first two files and explain a bit more about them. Inside the folder named one VLC FlexSat one install, you can see a file named 14 VLC media player.exe. This is the actual FlexSat one application container that incorporates the FlexSat one service and the VLC media player within it. You can download this and other FlexSat one containers from the Liquidware website by navigating to info.liquidware.com forward slash FlexSat one hyphen trial. Scroll down to the bottom and click one of the app links to download your free trial FlexApp One application container. So back to the demo. When you download the original FlexApp One VLC container, it comes as a compressed zip folder with the container app.exe inside there. So just extract it to your local repository as the exe file. We also changed the name of the XE slightly just to make it more readable inside our batch command scripts later on. So we have the VLC FlexApp One application container and also this .bat file called one-vlc-flexapp1-install.bat that will also deploy to the Tenzig endpoint using our first Tenzig manager package. Let's take a look and see what's inside this batch command file and explain what it does. The first command is going to make a subfolder on the root of C on the Tenzig device called temp. This is where we'll store the FlexApp One application container and all of the batch command files from this and the following Tenzig Manager update package. During the build of the Tenzig Manager update packages, we'll set one of the parameters in the installers to copy and execute from the local temporary folder. This basically means that when the update package runs on the Tenzig endpoint, it will copy any files from within your image store slash win updates update package name folder 
on the Tenzig Manager server into a dynamically generated subfolder under C colon Windows temp on the local device. We'll touch on this when we show you how to build the update package in a moment. Now, the command copy star C colon temp will copy all contents of the Windows temp subfolder to this new C colon temp location on the Tenzig device. We're only doing this because we want to keep a copy of the FlexApp One container, as we'll need it later when we come to install the VLC media player, and then ultimately uninstall it and the FlexApp One service from the Tenzig device. We'll explain a bit more later on. The next command is the one that actually installs the FlexApp One service by running the name of the locally stored app. This is followed by the command line switch hyphen hyphen install. Once that is installed, we have the command that will install the VLC media player with various switches included. The sync switch sets where the application will reside. In this example, C colon program data, FlexApp 1, 14 VLC media player. The system switch creates shortcuts in the public areas of the start menu and the CTL switch will create a click to layer on the desktop and start menu. Add to Start adds the FlexApp 1 to the Start Menu Programs FlexApp 1 folder. This option provides an additional way to always access the application. Finally, Hide Tray hides the FlexApp 1 system tray icon for this package. The exit command at the end of the batch file does just that and closes the batch script for a successful completion. Now, let's open the Tenzing Manager web console and start to build this first package to deploy and install the FlexApp service and VLC application. Inside the web console, click on the Update Packages icon from within the Management tab. Click Add, and you'll be presented with the Manage Windows Client Update Packages dialog box. Click Next on the intro screen, and you'll be prompted to enter a name for your update package. We're going to give our first update package the same name as the first script folder inside the dev repository, just so they match up and for ease of reference. So we're going to use the name 1-VLC-FlexApp1-install. Once we've done that, we click Next and we're presented with the dialog to specify the update installer file and or any command line parameters. We need to click Select File and when the Tenzing Manager image store contents are displayed, click the upload button, as we're going to upload the batch command file to our Tenzing Manager image store first. We need to navigate to the dev repository where the batch file command resides. Highlight the install.bat and then click open. Click yes to the confirm upload question and you should see the install.bat appear in the image store list below. Now, we need to highlight this command file and click select file, and a few seconds later you'll see it inside the dialog box. In the command line parameters box below, we need to specify the command to run once the update package reaches the Tenzig Windows client. You can enter any command inside here, but in this case, the command we're going to run is the batch command file above. You can either just type in the name of the batch command file name again, or use the parameter called less than update underscore file greater than. For this type of deployment, because we're going to copy and execute from local temporary folder, we're going to use this update underscore file parameter, as we won't know what the Windows temp dynamic subfolder will be called later. So by using this method, Tenzing Manager Update Package will preserve the full folder and batch command line path for us. Next, we need to tick the box copy and execute from local temporary folder. Once we've done this, we click Next and we're prompted to select the update execution level. We want to run this deployment under the local system account, so we're leaving this as the default. We click Next and then we're presented with the right protection dialog. If your Windows IoT devices are set up to use the UWF or Unified Right filter and this is enabled on your devices, then you'll need to tick the Disable and Enable boxes so your changes are preserved on the Tenzig device once they've been applied. For this demo, we're not using the UWF, so we can leave them just as they are and click Next to move on. Now we can see the summary of the update package and all the options we've specified. 
Once they meet your requirements, just click finish and the update will be saved and you'll see it appear in the list inside the packages dialog box. We just need to do one more thing before we can deploy this update package and that's to copy the 14 VLC media player.exe to the Tenzing Manager Server's Win Updates folder for this package. We're doing this because once Tenzing Manager starts deploying this update, it will transfer our batch command file and anything else inside this folder to the Tenzig device. Remember we told the package to copy and execute from local temporary folder. So this is where our files will be deployed to and then copied via our batch script to C colon temp. Now that we've created the first deployment package to install the FlexApp One service and VLC media player, let's deploy it to the Tenzig Windows IoT device and see how to check that it installed everything successfully. Right click on the Tenzig device, select Windows Client Administration, Updates, and then Execute Updates. Click to highlight the install package, and then click OK. When you're asked to confirm running the update, click Yes, and you'll see the job running in the status window below. And a few moments later, the status changes to succeeded. Let's remote into the Tenzig Windows IoT device and show you how to identify that the FlexApp One service and VLC Media Player were installed successfully. On the Tenzig device, under the Administrator account, navigate to the Start menu, All Programs, Windows Tools, and then Services. Scroll down and you'll see the Liquidware Labs container service inside there with a the status of running. Now you can also see the VLC Media Player app on the desktop and if we click the Start menu, you can see several points to get access to it from inside there. If we click the icon on the desktop, then the VLC Media Player launches as we'd expect it to. If you go into the Start menu again, All Programs, Windows System, Control Panel, and then Programs and Features, you'll see the VLC player in the list and notice that it's installed as a Flex app in brackets, which is great. In this section, we'll show you how to build the second of the Tenzig Manager update packages that will uninstall the VLC media player and then the FlexApp One service from the Tenzig Windows IoT device. For this package, we're just going to deploy one controlling.bat file to the Tenzig device that will handle the uninstall processes. This batch file is inside the folder called 2VLCFlexApp1 uninstall and named 2VLCFlexApp1 uninstall.bat. Let's just open it and see what it does. There are two commands inside here that basically cleanly remove the VLC Media Player app and then uninstall the FlexApp1 service. VLC is removed first and then the service. Let's build our second Tenzig Manager update package that will incorporate this batch command file. Just as we did before, inside the Update Packages menu, click Add and give the package a meaningful name. This one is called 2VLC FlexApp1 Uninstall, just so it ties in with the batch script name again. Click Select File and click Upload again. Navigate to the folder called 2VLC FlexApp1 Uninstall in the Dev Repository folder and select the batch command file called 2VLC FlexApp1 Uninstall.bat, answering all the questions as we did before. Highlight the command file just added and click Select File again. Enter update underscore file as the command line parameter as we did before. Tick the box named copy and execute from local temporary folder and then click next, next, next and then finish and you should see the second update package in the list. Now 
Let's deploy this latest update package to the Tenzig Windows IoT device, and then we'll see what's happened following the uninstall process. Right click on the Tenzig device, select Windows Client Administration, Updates, and then Execute Updates like we did before. Click to highlight the uninstall package, and then click OK. When you're asked to confirm running the update, click Yes, and you'll see the job running in the Task Status window below. And a few moments later, the status changes to Succeeded. Let's remote onto the Tenzig device once again and check that the Media Player and FlexAt1 service were uninstalled successfully. Back on the Windows 11 IoT Tenzig device, under the Administrator account, navigate to the Start menu again, All Programs, Windows Tools, and then Services. Scroll down and you'll see the Liquidware Labs container service has now been removed. Now, if you look on the desktop and in the Start menu, the VLC Media Player shortcuts no longer appear, which is good. If you go into the Start menu, All Programs, Windows System, Control Panel, and then Programs and Features again, you'll see the VLC player has now been uninstalled. Now, how easy was that? Both the installer and uninstaller jobs took less than a couple of minutes to deploy and complete successfully, using Tenzig Manager and the web console. This concludes today's demonstration on building Tenzig Manager update packages to deploy and install a FlexApp One service and VLC media player. Following that, we showed you how to create an update package to completely remove the installed VLC media player and then remove the FlexApp One service. It also explained how to create batch command files that would control the install and uninstall processes on the Tenzig device. If you enjoyed the video and found the content helpful, please take a moment to like it and also subscribe to the Tenzig YouTube channel. Your support enables us to reach a wider audience and continue providing valuable information to the tech community. Remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com. From all of us here at Tenzig, thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.